Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Manny, Mana Martinez versus Cameron Samen. Mana Martinez, 10 wins, 3 losses. She's, he's, Jesus, he's 4-1 in his last 5 fights. His one loss in that stretch is against Ronnie Lawrence. Just out grappled, you know. Did have a really big moment in the third round, almost finished. Um, Ronnie Lawrence, but he's a plus 210 underdog, 26 years old from Texas. 5'10 with a 70 inch reach. Cameron Samen, 7 and 0, just beat a big grappler in Steven Kozlow. Knees and uppercuts looked really good. First round, back and forth. Second round, not so much. I believe he finished him in the second round. But 22 years old, 5'8 with a 67 inch reach. So two inches in height for Mana and three inches in reach for Martinez. The issue is, is I think Samen is going to, he can grapple and he knows that's where Martinez has had issues in that. And I think he's gonna use a lot of that grappling to open up his strikes and, and confuse and distract man on Martinez. Samen has to understand also, he cannot just go blow for blow with man on Martinez. He needs to be um, always using his wrestling, you know, putting the pressure on him, striking to get in, not just shooting naked takedowns, but there's no chance. Let's not say that, but uh, there's no better way for Cameron Seaman to win this other than like grappling, mixing in his tools. If he goes blow for blow with Mana, it's a harder fight for Cody Seaman. I, I think Cody Seaman wins this probably by decision. I don't say I don't really see him finishing Mana Martinez unless he like is able to rock him real big and then submit him but i believe he definitely could ground him out and uh take him down for three rounds at least grapple him enough get him against the cage get him down shoot um uh get close into him on the feet he does have some really really nice uh striking but he does leave himself open enough and you don't really want to get hit by mana martinez he's shown some really really good power beating brandon davis in his last one and if it wasn't for him being a little enjoying it a little bit too much he maybe could have gotten brandon davis out of there but as always guys he is a minus 250 favorite kid uh, cameron Samen. Brandon martinez as long as uh Samen, if if he can get Samen to strike with him like he wants him to keep him on the outside martinez is gonna really really like this fight but i don't think that's what he does hopefully not but as always guys subscribe to the channel if you are new or just make sure you're subscribed uh, hit, click that bell notification so you get notified when I upload. I do it every single Sunday. I will be going live in a few hours. But as always, guys, comment down below. Let me know who you have winning. You know what it is. Peace.